Hi there, Andy from Andy Bell Photography and today I'm going to be looking at the latest update to Topaz Gigapixel AI it's gone up to version 5.2 and this version features um, the ability to enlarge images that have got a lot of noise in them so we're going to do some comparisons to see how it stacks up against just enlarging an image as it is or enlarging an image that I've treated through Photo Ninja which is a very good noise reduction program. For the upscaling I'm going to use Affinity Photo which is a very good program, um, very very good image editor. So what we're going to do first is open this extremely noisy image in Affinity and just upscale it. I'm going to double the size. Then I'm going to put it into Photo Ninja, remove the noise and upscale it in Affinity Photo and then we're going to put the image into Gigapixel AI and see how that compares. Now let's just have a look at this picture to just see how noisy it is. So I'm going to zoom in to 100% on it. And this is one I use often in noise reduction program tests. You can see it's dreadfully noisy. It's not surprising, I shot it at ISO 25600 using the Canon EOS M50, it's a lovely little camera, but at this kind of ISO setting the, the images it produces are extremely noisy. So firstly let's open this up in Affinity Photo and just do a standard upside. So here we are in Affinity and if I just go document, resize document and we'll just double the size happens very quickly if I zoom in to 100% well it's not surprising it looks absolutely terrible that's what you'd expect to get if you upsize a photo that's full of noise I'll save that out as a TIFF file anyway so that we can do some comparisons afterwards okay so I've saved it as a TIFF file and now I'm going to edit the current JPEG and we'll do that in Photo Ninja because Photo Ninja is an extremely good noise removal program. So I've opened the image up in Photo Ninja. I've been fiddling with its Noise Ninja settings, and I've found that these settings have done pretty well in removing the noise. If we zoom in, the noise is pretty much gone. I've removed the color noise as well. So I've used these settings. I've had to use a lot of color noise reduction and a medium amount of luminance noise and I've added in some of its detail otherwise the image just goes way too smooth. So what we're going to do here now is save that as a TIFF file and I'm going to give it the name Ninja so that we can recognize the photo afterwards and then we'll compare um, the noise reduced image with the original and then we'll do the upsize. OK, so I've saved the Noise Ninja version and what we'll do is we'll just compare it to the original version and we'll check that it has removed the noise properly. So here's the Noise Ninja version, here's the original version and if we zoom in a bit definitely see that the noise has been removed. There's not a lot of detail perhaps in some of the picture now um, it's a side effect of removing noise is that you do lose detail particularly if you're using a regular noise reduction program so what we're going to do now is open up the noise ninja version in affinity photo and we'll double the size of that picture and then see how that compares to the one that it um, resized without any noise reduction. Okay so I've done that, let's just compare them. And we'll go again to 100% or so. So we can see it's a major difference and we've doubled the size of the image but what you can see in the version that's been upsized in Affinity that's had the Noise Ninja noise removal 
there's less detail if you look at Teddy's fur here it's a lot mungier it's not as nice it's removed the noise it's upscaled okay but to be honest it's not a terrific result so I've opened up our original noisy picture in Gigapixel AI version 5.2 at the moment I've got no um, settings for noise reduction on a few things I've noticed that are different you've now got this ability to crop the picture which is quite nice to do a resize and crop at the same time I've got this I don't know if it was there before but you can reduce the size of the image by the look of things you can go to 0.5 I've not tested that yet but the thing we're looking at particularly here is this compressed image setting so if we just look at the help it mentions that at the bottom line they're compressed for images that have a lot of noise so let's switch that on and let's turn on auto so now it's on two times size with the noise reduction on on automatic mode so all I'm going to do is save that out and then we'll see what the results look like so I've done that I've saved the gigapixel version I called it uh, gigapixel.tiff on the end there so we can compare it and let's compare it to the noise ninja version that was upscaled by affinity photo so the affinity photo version is on the left and gigapixels on the right if we zoom in about a hundred percent well we can see immediately that the fur here has got an awful lot more detail in it the um, pillow or the quilt that the teddy's lying on again you can see there's a lot more detail there is a, a slight graininess to it as well but my experience tells me if I was to print this that the gigapixel version is going to look much much better it's simply the detail is so much more impressive and the same holds true for the lighter teddy bear as well so there is simply no comparison when you think about it between what um, noise ninja and affinity photo did and you compare that to gigapixel AI gigapixel AI has done a dramatically better upscale and noise removal in one step now does that mean that if you've got gigapixel AI you wouldn't also want to use um, Topaz Denoise AI I don't know about that I suspect a combination of Denoise AI and gigapixel AI would produce either a similar or a better result but there is a question of when do you remove the noise is it better to remove it before upscaling or after upscaling or during upscaling I think it would take a lot more tests to find that out but one thing is certain gigapixel AI has once again shown itself to be a superior image enlargement program and now handles noise extremely well so congratulations to Topaz once again you've shown that you are committed to this program you keep updating it and it just keeps on getting better and better and it's certainly a worthy part of any photographer's toolkit if you have to change the size of any image there's no other option in my opinion than to go to Topaz Gigapixel AI nothing comes close to it for good quality upscaling and resizing of images now I've uploaded the original pictures onto andybellphotography.com forward slash blog so that you can have a look at the pictures yourself and see uh, the different improvements that the various programs have made uh, thank you for watching this video I hope you found it enjoyable uh, it's Andy from Andy Bell Photography and I hope to speak to you again soon